Uh, my name is Bo Pomahak. I'm a plastic surgeon here at Brigham and Women's Hospital uh, in charge of the face transplantation program. Uh, this is a three-dimensional acrylic model of our patient and his defect. Following injury, he lost uh, the bony structures of his mid-face that include uh, the nose uh, and the entire hard palate with all the overlying soft tissues such as nose and upper lip. What we needed for the patient were tissues that included uh, facial skin, uh, the entire nasal structure as well as upper lip and uh, hard palate. Once we found the appropriate donor, the uh, tissues were recovered, including uh, muscles of facial animation and the nerves that uh, power them, as well as nerves that provide sensation to the facial unit, and then uh, brought it over to our recipient and reconnected uh, the vessels under, under microscope. The donor needs to match not only from uh, tissue characteristics, but also uh, has to be age appropriate, we have found that donors up to 20 years younger or up to 10 years older are acceptable match and uh, similar uh, color of skin. We have been struggling for uh, years, perhaps decades, with the most difficult uh, facial reconstructions and patients that needed uh, extensive uh, amounts of soft tissues, uh, both for aesthetic as well as functional purposes. Uh, we have um, ultimately came to conclusion that the best reconstructive technique that would address most appropriately all of the issues would be uh, uh, transplantation of tissues that are alike compared to what the patient used to have. And those uh, uh, leads uh, ultimately brought us to uh, uh, composite tissue transplantation being uh, the answer to some of the needs that we had. The um, entire um, effort is truly multidisciplinary. We then formed a group of uh, physicians that uh, not only were able to participate actively in uh, the procedure, had the adequate uh, skills and knowledge, but also felt that it is an important uh, uh, scientific and clinical project. And once we uh, were able to uh, lay down the fundamentals of the project, then, then I approached uh, the New England Organ Bank and I think we got very fortunate that the leadership of the New England Organ Bank uh, saw this as an important project and uh, something that probably will be occurring more so in the future and wanted to really take the lead on being pioneers among their peers.